In the electrifying realm of punk music, where the raw and rebellious take center stage, Matt Freeman's name stands out as a beacon of bass brilliance. Widely revered for his associations with bands like Rancid and Operation Ivy, Freeman has transcended the traditional expectations of a punk bassist. It's not merely about the impressive technical skills he displays, though his fingerwork on tracks like Maxwell Murdered leaves listeners in awe. It's about the signature sound he's cultivated, a harmonious blend of aggressive fingerstyle with a growling tone, which immediately earmarks any song as a Mad Freeman masterpiece. Freeman's genius doesn't just reside in his speed or his dexterity, but also in his musical adaptability. He's a punk rock legend, undoubtedly, yet his forays into reggae, ska, and rocksteady demonstrate a musician with a broad palette, enriching the tapestry of Rancid's sonic landscape. There's an undeniable energy that Freeman brings to every performance, a fervor that feels like he's playing each gig as though it might be his last. This passion, combined with his consistent delivery over the decades, makes him an enduring figure in an industry notorious for its fleeting fame. But perhaps the most telling aspect of Freeman's prowess is the influence he's wielded on the next generation. Across the world, bassists from various genres tip their hats to his style and technique. In the end, while debates on the best will forever rage on, the narrative of punk rock will always have Matt Freeman as one of its most iconic bassists. Through his unmatched technicality, unique sound, and enduring dedication, Freeman has not just played the bass, he's narrated stories, fueled revolutions, and inspired countless musicians on their journey.